I want to let you know a secret that you already knew, but sometimes you just not see that. And it is the higher your website ranks, the better the amount of traffic you get on the same. And ultimately, there are better chances of lead conversion. In today's podcast, we are going to speak about the key reasons to choose React JS, the challenges of making the React SEO website, and the best practices to solve the same to make it SEO friendly. So, hey listeners, this is Mindful Talks podcast. Welcome to the 18th episode of Hashtag Tech Set Go. So, before diving into the concept of React JS, let's first understand what is SPA, that is single page apps and why react.js is best for spa so spa is a web app implementation that is loaded through a single html page to be more responsive the page then updates the body content of that single document via javascript apis such as xml http request and fetch when different content is to be executed now let's move to the point that why should you choose react so the very major point comes like uh, the first is stability in code so when it comes to react.js you should not be worried about the code's stability at all because when you have when you got the ch- like to change something in a code the changes will be done in that specific component the parent structure will not be changed at all the second is react offers a workable development toolset so when you're working with uh, react.js your process of coding is going to be simplified as you have the developers toolkit with you and this toolkit like the process of development becomes easier and helps developers save a whole lot of time one another reason is react.js is declarative so in react.js the dom is declarative and uh, we can create interactive uis along with changing the state of the component uh, react.js does not update the dom automatically so that means you don't really need to interact with dom that is dom last but not the least react.js allows you to speed up the development so like basically it enables developers to use every aspect of their application on both server side and client side which makes developers spend less time on coding so what are the three common indexing issues that are generally faced with javascript pages the first is the complex process of indexing the second is indexing spas is a challenging task the third is errors in the coding of javascript now let's understand like what are the core challenges to making react.js website seo friendly the very first point is extra loading time so parsing and loading javascript takes little more time and as javascript needs to make network calls to execute the content the user may have the to wait until like it's helped with requested information the second is sitemap so sitemap is the file where you uh, do mention all the information about every page of your website and also mention the uh, connection between those pages so this leads search engines like google to crawl your website more quickly and properly here react does not have a built-in system to create sitemaps if you are using react uh, react router router to handle uh, routing uh, you will get to find some tools that generate sitemaps still uh, it's time consuming process the third major one is lack of dynamic metadata so single page applications are developed dynamically and they provide seamless experience to the user as the user can like see all the required information on that single page itself so like but when it comes to the seo of the spa uh, metadata is not updated on on the spot when crawlers click on the spa link and this like thus google boards when crawling the website uh, they consider the page empty as that particular file is unable to indexed by google boards now let's move to the solution part like how to make your react website seo friendly so here are like two options you can make react js website rank higher on search engines to reach out to your target audience uh, the first is isomorphic react apps so when isomorphic javascript you can work with react js application and fetch the rendered html file which is 
generally rendered by the browser. The very HTML file is being executed for everyone who tries to search for the particular app along with the Google boards. So when it comes to client side scripting, the application can use this HTML file and continue to operate the same on the browser. The data is added using JavaScript if required. The isomorphic app still remains dynamic. So isomorphic applications ensures that the client is able to operate the scripts or not. While JavaScript is not active, the code is rendered on the server and the browser can fetch all the meta tags and text in HTML and CSS files. So hence, developing real-time isomorphic applications is such a challenging and complex task. But here, these two frameworks can make the process of the same pretty quicker and uh, simpler as well. Now we must talk about the server side rendering with next.js. So if a single page application is what you have decided to go with, then server side rendering is the best way to improve page ranking in search results as Google bots easily index and rank pages that are rendered on the server. For server side rendering, the ideal choice for implementing it is next.js, a react framework. So like if we speak about the pros of the server side rendering, then the points are like server side rendering makes your website pages instantly available to interact with your users. Not only search engines, but it also optimizes web pages for social media. It's pretty useful for SEO and server side rendering comes up with plenty of benefits that enhances the app's UI. The cons are not that much, but still we need to be careful and it goes like slower page transitions server side is generally much more costly than that are of pre-rendering and higher latency and pretty complex catching like if we speak about the second major and the last one point is like pre-rendering so it is yet another option for making your web apps visible with higher ranking and again this has uh, its own pros and uh, cons so yes like pre-rendering pros are like uh, it is quite easier to implement it runs every javascript file by transforming it to static html pre-rendering approach requires least code based changes and the last is it goes good with trending web novelties now the cons is like its services are not for free it's not ideal for the pages that get the data updated every now and then. It takes a lot of time if the website is extensive and has many pages. You need to develop a pre-rendered page every time you update its content. So let's quickly understand the best practice to make your React website SEO friendly. The first is building static or dynamic web applications. So like say for example, if every page of your website has something valuable for the user, then the dynamic website is your choice. Or if you are planning to promote your land landing pages, then a static website is something you should opt for. The second is URL case. So Google bots always consider some pages separate when the URLs have lower case or upper case. So now these two URLs will be considered different due to the difference in their cases. So for avoiding these common blunders, always try to generate your URL in lower case. Then there are other points as well, like 404 code, like be it any page with any error in the data, they all run a 404 code. So try to set up uh, files in server.js and root.js as soon as you can. The fourth is try not to use hashed URLs and yes, like you need to be very careful about it. So there is a one more bonus waiting for you. But what you can do is you just need to visit www.mineinventory.com right now to read the full article in which we have given a bonus tips for you. And uh, even like if you require like uh, react developers who can help you stay away from all the fuzzy tasks and give you the best so you can definitely visit www.mineinventory.com today and the team full of experts will be more than happy to guide you so that's it for today we will see you in the next episode till then keep on rocking